Folks, if you can believe it, we haven't had ourselves an official ocean update since July 16th, 2020. But that will soon change here in July of 2021, as Don't Starve Together's next drop of content will actually see us set and sail once more. And it sounds like we'll be doing so towards some new cool lands to boot. So to celebrate, I'll be getting my own sea legs under me again. And yes, you heard that right. Beardo is actually dedicating an entire video to the ocean. But it's not just any ocean, mind you. It's been overhauled. So let's slowly drift to it. And Scully's Sea Pack here will be adding an entirely new yet very familiar biome to the waters known as a mangrove, folks. A very common place in the Don't Starve Shipwreck DLC, mangroves were home to mangrove trees, obviously, grass, and water beefalo. However, for its translation over Don't Starve Together here, we can only expect the mangrove trees to remain, unfortunately. But don't worry, other things will be added that kinda make up for it. But the biome will spawn randomly around the ocean, and don't mistake what you are seeing, as I'm actually being mixed up with sea stacks all the time, as what you're seeing are actually just map markers for the trees, not actually sea stacks. But speaking of mangrove trees... It would appear as if the mangrove trees in DST are working all the same as their shipwrecked counterparts, in that they both have three stages each, they both have very similar growth timers, and they both drop the very same thing, that being logs and twigs. Small mangroves will drop one each, medium-sized ones will drop one log and two twigs, and fully grown mangroves will provide two logs and three twigs respectively. Now, while there is actually no way for us to regrow mangroves, we don't really have to worry all that much, just as long as the tree stumps themselves are not burned. And why is that? Well, because mangroves just regrow themselves very quickly actually. And no, we can't actually shovel the stumps, so all I gotta worry about is them being burned. But continue to float around these mangrove joints, and you will notice plenty of reeds doing so too. And they can be pushed by boats, waves, or etc. So take a big note there, that might be useful. But other than that, they're kinda just reeds, folks. As I said, the mod just simply replaced the grass of mangroves with reeds. But be mindful, they can still burn, which the grass and shipwrecked in mangroves cannot. Ah, but if the reeds replaced grass, what replaced a water beefalo beard? Oh, you know, just some of my favorite flipper mobs in the entire game in Skitter Squids here. It appears that every mangrove biome will generate with something called a suspicious sea stack here. And it is these rocky things that will house up to five Skitter Squids that will spawn come dusk one at a time. Now the process is very fast, and the squids will remain out until killed, which is great. But the best part is that these stacks simply make skitter squid spawns much more reliable than having to simply wait out moon cycles to even have a chance to bloody see a small number of them. So I'm all about it. Now they may still not do or drop all that much, but I still love them. So here is a change I can definitely get behind, especially with how fast skitter squids actually respawn at the end of the day. Oh, but things keep getting better. For you see, the mod also changes up yet another of my favorites in Rock Jaw Sharks. Managed to track down and murder these finicky beasts for their typical loot, sure. However, Rock Jaws will now also drop things called shark fins. Yet another staple of Don't Starve Shipwreck, mind you. We can expect 17.5 hunger instead of its original 25, minus 20 sanity per munch over its usual 15, and the same health restored at 20 a pop. Its food value has also been altered to be half fish and half meat instead of whole fish and half meat, but that's really nothing to concern yourself with, really. Mostly because the only thing you should ever be making with these new shark fins is this shark fin soup. And yup, you guessed it. It is another thing brought over from Don't Stop Shipwrecked, only this time it is actually better than its solo counterparts. It'll grant us 35 hunger over the mere 12.5 of the original, and it will give us 80 health restored over the original's 40. Now, Don't Starve Together's version will be hitting us for double the sanity cost, mind you, and it will not increase our naughtiness as it did before. But still, the point is that Rock Jaws have a utility now, and that's what matters. 
But yeah, while we're kind of in that vein of thought, let's touch on what the mod tweaks in terms of some pre-existing content, like with the cookie cutter cap here. While cookie cutter shell drops have not changed, a cap will now cost but three in total. So there's that. And there's also the fact that cookie cutter caps will now damage attackers for 51 damage, which might be a little too much. But in this case, it is 100% the thought that counts. The armor should have always done something similar to this from the get-go, and now it does. Good stuff. And interestingly enough, the mod also changes up how some seasonal ocean fish are going to be responding to the world, like with Pig King traded for example. Now all fish were already able to be traded for gold, sure, however, the trades would all just result in a single nugget. Now, both the Fall Lounder and the Bloomfin Tuna will be traded for 4 gold each, so take advantage, especially during spring mind you. And that's not just for the gold either, it's because Bluefin Tuna now murder into more than just leafy meats. We might get some flower petals, or we might even get a full blown lure plant ball per fish. Cool stuff. Ah, but where has the fun actually been in all of this without the appropriate attire folks? The pirate hat also makes its ways to the shores of Don't Starve Together. And at the cost of two bone shards, one rope, and two pig butts, it might appear to do absolutely diddly squat at first, but just ask yourself this, what is a pirate doing on land? So get your drunk butt on a nautical circle, and suddenly, the pirate hat will not only start to provide a very small plus 3.3 sanity per minute regen, but will also slow the rate of our hunger loss by 25%. Now that's not too much, but it will add up very quickly, and it's mighty appropriate at the end of the day. So it's a pirate's life for me, I say. But that life ain't quite done yet. It's ore time. The living ore has been added to the mix as well, and at the cost of one living log, we can have, by far, the most powerful ore in the game. And it's not even close. The thing is, however, a living ore has very limited uses to offer when compared to its competition, so while it's a funny addition that will actually prove quite useful now and then, I think it's still going to be best to have a driftwood ore at the ready at all times. Enjoy it though. And finally, the mod makes it to where all boat patches will now hide themselves after each use to make sure boats are more visually appealing more often than not. But it also adds the ability for technical spots to be on the list of things that repairs leaks. Now they don't actually repair the boat though, so be mindful there. But you know what? This is actually kind of a good change. But before we wrap up for the day, know that all characters have unique examinations of at least the shark fins and soup. So have fun hearing the callbacks from Warley or the great concern from Wurtz. It's fun stuff. And there you have it everyone. A run, or better yet, sail through the many small changes made via Scully's sea pack here that all add up to a not so small and fun ocean overhaul. And heck, it sounds like Lord Scully is actually planning on doing more of this. And as far as I can tell, they have already quote unquote overhauled things like hunting and magic. So be sure to check all of that out. Folks, as I said, more seafaring is officially coming soon. So get your own sea legs ready. But thanks for watching. Well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.